Hey everyone, welcome back to SFDC Ninja and today I am back with one more Apex Trigger scenario. This scenario is also given by one of my subscribers. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. First we will understand the data model. So in this scenario, we are going to use two objects, account and contact. And on contact object, we have a checkbox field new contact. This is the data model. Now let's understand this scenario. So in today's scenario, whenever a contact gets inserted on an account, then we need to identify the most recent contact inserted on that account. And we have to check the new contact checkbox for it. And for other related contacts, we have to ensure that new contact checkbox field is unchecked. Let me explain it again. Let's say we have an account. Let's name it test account. And on this account, we have some contacts. Let's say C1, C2 and C3. And for this C1 contact, the new contact checkbox is checked. Now, when a user insert a new contact on this account, let's say Jack. Then new contact checkbox field should get checked for Jack. And for other contact, that checkbox should get unchecked. So the new contact field of this C1 contact should get unchecked. So this is what we are going to do today. Now we know the scenario, but before we start our code, we should understand the approach. Like how we are going to tackle this problem. Guys see, first we will check that what are the things that we need in this scenario. So we need to work on related contacts of account. That's why we'll be needing account ID of the contact which is being inserted. So at first we will get the account ID. After that, using that account ID, we will fetch the related contacts of that account. So we will have the related contacts, but we need to check the new contact checkbox of most recent contact record. So we will first order the related contacts by their creation date in descending order. This step will ensure that the most recent contact appear first. And then we will store that contact in a map. And then we will apply some checks on that map to meet the requirement, which we will see later in our code. So now let's go to VS code and create our handler class. Let's name it checkbox trigger handler. Let's create our method. And we need to work on contact object in this scenario. So we will pass the list of contact as parameter in our method. So let's pass it. Let's say new list. In this parameter, we will basically pass trigger.new from our trigger. So this list is equal to trigger.new. Copy its name. And here, let's apply a null check on it. And iterate over it. Like I told you that first, we will store account ID of the contact which is being inserted because we need to fetch all related contacts of account. So let's apply a null check on account ID like this. Dot account ID not equals to null. And we will store the account ID in a set. So let's create a set to store it. Let's say CC IDs. Copy its name, paste it here and add account ID in it. Now we want that our rest of the code will be executed only if this set contains a value. I mean if a contact will get inserted on an account. So for that we will apply a check on this set. We basically apply a null check. Dot is empty. And now in second step, we will simply fetch the related contacts of account using this set, like this. Select ID, account ID, new contact from contact, where account ID is in this set. But in our requirement, we'll be needing most recent contact. 
So we will use order by clause like this. Order by created date descending. We can also apply another check here. That new contact checkbox should be unchecked while creating a contact. So here we have the related contacts of account. Now we will store it in a map. So let's create a map like this. Contact, let's say recent on map. See, the primary purpose of this map is to identify the most recent contact record. Basically, by using this map, we can keep track of the most recent contact record for each account. I will see that how we are going to do it. But for now, let's store account ID in key and contact in value like this. And let's iterate over this list. Put account ID in key. and contact in value. But there is a problem. We only need the most recent contact record and we are getting contact in this list in descending order, which means that most recent contact will come first and we need to store that contact only. So what we will do, we will apply a check like this. A recent con map contains key. See, for the first contact, there will be no account ID present in this map. So for the first contact, this condition will get true and contact details of most recent contact will get stored in this map. And for other contacts, this condition will not get true because account ID will already be there in map. So ultimately, we will have the most recent contact in this map. Now we need to work on related contacts of account. I mean, we need to check and uncheck new contact checkbox on related contacts, which we have already fetched here. So let's iterate over this list again. And now let's create an instance of contact. Let's say recent contact. We will use this map here. See, in this map, we have stored the account ID of contacts. And here, we are retrieving the most recent contact associated with same account ID. Now, according to scenario, we need to check the new contact checkbox of most recent contact of account. And we need to check the already checked new contact checkbox. I mean, if you have inserted a new contact on an account, then we need to check the checkbox for that contact. And for other contact, we need to uncheck it. So what we will do? We will apply a check like this. If recent contact dot ID is equal to current contact ID. and new contact checkbox is unchecked. Basically, we are checking that if current contact is the most recent one by comparing its ID to the ID of contact retrieved from this map. And if this condition will get true, I mean if the ID matches, then we will set its checkbox to true, like this. Else, for other contacts, if new contact checkbox is checked, then we will uncheck it. Now we will not perform DML inside for loop. So let's create a new list to update the contacts.
go to its name and add contact record in it. Apply NL check. And finally update it. Save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. So we have our handler class ready. Let's create a trigger. Let's name it comtrg. A trigger will be on contact object with after insert. Let's apply a check to execute our handler class method only for after insert operation. Copy the handler class name and pass trigger.new. Save it and deploy it to work. It is successfully deployed. We have our code ready. It's time to see it in action. So let's go to our org. In our org, we already have this account on which we have two contacts. And for this contact, the new contact checkbox is checked. Now let's insert a new contact. Let's say Paul Adams. Now, if our code is working fine, then the new contact checkbox for this contact gets checked. Let's save it. So as you can see that the new contact checkbox gets checked. Let's check for this contact also. And for this contact, the checkbox gets unchecked. So guys, we can also do like this. Let's remove this line and this line also. And paste it here. Save it and deploy it again. It is successfully deployed. Let's go to our org again and let's insert a new contact. Let's say Jack Rogers. Click on save. The checkbox is checked. And for Paul Adams, the checkbox is unchecked. So that's it for today guys and I'll be back with more interesting trigger scenarios. Thank you and keep watching.